So we're going to factor by grouping. We do factor by grouping when we have four terms present. And most of the times the directions will tell you to factor by grouping. If not, when you do see four terms, you should think factoring by grouping. So the first thing is that you split the factors in half. So you do the first two factors and then the second two factors. Within each group, you're going to factor out the greatest common factor for each group. So I'm going to do the GCF for the first group. 3x squared minus 2x. They both share an x. Remember to factor out a GCF is basically the idea of you dividing by that factor. Okay? Because what you're saying is I'm pulling out an x which they have in common. What would be left when I factor out that x? When I pull out that x? 3x minus 2. Then in the second group, we have a 12x minus an 8. So when you do the second group, you need to make sure whatever the sign is for that first term, that's going to be the sign of your GCF. 12x and 8, their GCF is a 4. So it's like we're dividing out a 4. 3x minus 2. When we factor by grouping, you want to make sure your two sets of parentheses match. When your two sets of parentheses match, you see that those are the same. What happens is we have two separate terms here that now both share a common factor. So we factor out that GCF, which is the 3x minus 2, and then we hook up these two people who are just hanging out and they go in their own set of parentheses and you would be finished.